Hi guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I want to talk to you guys about the motors I have tested, but not some of them not thoroughly tested, but uh, just had some experience with, and um, what to expect from them. And I just want to do a little unboxing to show you what what each motor comes with and how they all look alike. I mean the visual comparison between each other. Uh, so we have the Diatone D Silver motors here. We have the T motor F60 motor. Uh, 2450 kV. These are the replacements I just got because I've had uh, a lot of problems with the other ones. Uh, the shaft just breaks out of nowhere. It just cracks and breaks by itself. Uh, the Brother Hobby Returner R4 motors. These are the new ones. I just got them. Um, <clears throat> the Emacs 2306 2750 kV. Uh, and the Emacs uh, 2205S 2300 kV. And Racer Star. I mean, this video won't be complete without Racer Star motor. This is the 2600 kV one, and it's the uh, I think the yellow one. And uh, I just just so you guys could compare. And then I don't think a lot of people seen the yellow one. Plus the yellow one um, doesn't look as good as I thought it would. So I'm very disappointed in that over there. So <clears throat> yeah, put that on the side. So let's just start with the Diatone motor. Let me just move these out of the way. All right. So here's the Diatone motor. It comes the same. Uh, plastic box as the Emacs is here so let's see what it comes with now we got the motor this is a brand new motor it's good no noise bearing seems fine so these are very beautiful motors they just look massive when you put them on uh, just they just look huge and they're just 2205 motors so yeah <clears throat> so it, it comes with uh, the uh, uh, screws, the motor screws, and I think this is for maybe a three millimeter frame right here. And you get one <coughs> prop nut, and that's it. And you get this Diatone anti fake sticker right here. So let's put this on the side. <coughs> so the Emacs 2306 2750 kV version. Now, this one is pretty awesome because, uh, unlike uh, there's just one downside, it doesn't come with a hex screw like the Emacs uh, 2205S. So let's see what this comes with. So here's the motor, very strong magnets. Um, now this one is very uh, amp hungry. It just consumes a lot of power, and you're just con you're just gonna ruin your battery. Um, so you you have to go with like a very light build or something on this. So I should have went for the 2400 kV version, but I bought nine of these and I'm just stuck with them now. So yeah, maybe we'll do a little giveaway later on. And <clears throat> here it comes with. The motor screw is a uh, four mil four millimeter for the four millimeter frame carbon frame, and it comes with a three millimeter uh, motor screws. So that's that's awesome. I love the packaging. Emacs has the best packaging. I love these boxes. They just come in handy a lot. So let's put this guy on the side. Let's take him out so we can see the visual comparison. <clears throat> All right. Um, let's skip to the Brother Hobby. This is the Returner R4, and I'm planning on putting these on the LX5 frame, Jeb RC LX5, the new one that just came out. Now, the, their magnets feel like the Emacs magnets. They're, they're very strong, and um, what I love about these is they have the, uh, you can remove the bell and the shaft just from this screw right here, which is very awesome for cleaning. Um, I, I usually end up having to clean my motors a lot, and this is just a, uh, it's just it's just the best thing to have right here and uh, so I think I'm gonna love these and just looking at the charts on uh, mini quad test bench they seem to match pretty much exactly with Emacs maybe 50 grams more thrust and, and a little bit more efficient if I remember correctly maybe like I don't know 0.2 amps or something <clears throat> so these are gonna be fun I really hope they're gonna perform like the Emacs and they're gonna be as durable as the Emacs I can't wait to try these <clears throat> All right, <clears throat> now the Emacs. Hold on. Oh my God! There we go. Now these Emacs, they come with a sticker. <clears throat> this is the 2205S, and it comes with our favorite little hex screw thingy, Allen key, and you get I think the same as the. Uh, Emax 2306, but it just doesn't say one for four millimeter frames and uh, screws for three millimeter frames. Let's put those on the side, and that's basically it. So, 
Uh, the only thing I hate about these is tightening the nuts. It's just unbelievably ridiculous. It's just, it's just hard. It's very difficult. But other than that, it's just beautiful. In the cleaning, it'll be very easy to clean. Um, <clears throat> very easy. And it's just, they're so durable. I've crashed them so many times. Not even a problem. The bearings are still just working just perfect. So these, I always recommend, and I'll recommend for a very long time, I believe. So for the price also, they're like $17 now, and you can get like four for $74. So this is very good. And look at the packaging. I mean, I don't, I don't know how they're doing this. And it's just a beautiful, amazing motor, and it performs like crazy. So <clears throat> let's move on to the next motor. And it's the F60 from T-Motor. Now, I am very disappointed. I really wanted to use these. I really thought they were going to be the best. But I haven't even got to fly one. You know, I, got, I bought the F40s and the F60s, and neither of them was able to fly. So these are the Virgin 2s, as you can tell by the uh, label here. And um, <clears throat> they they didn't rebrand it. They didn't, they didn't tell anyone, basically, and they made a version 2. <clears throat> so this is the version 2 right now. Um, it doesn't have the other sticker. Uh, let me see, show you, like this one. This is the version 1, and you can see from the inside that it's much thicker and much thinner uh, copper wire. And here you got a little bit thicker and darker copper wire. And uh, it's less threads on this one and more threads on that one. Bottom, same. The, the whole thing just is basically the same. And this is the problem I've been having with my T-motors. I just put the prop on and then it just pops off after a while. I just place the quad down, grab my gear, and then boop, crack. And it didn't just happen on F60, it also happened on F40s. And um, the F80s are supposed to come this week and I'm, I'm very scared. So, <clears throat> yeah. So here's the F60. I really hope they're going to be good this time. Uh, the Banggood replaced all of them for me, so that, that's, that's very nice of them. And last but not least, this video. You cannot do this video without a Racer Star motor. <clears throat> so the Racer Star motor comes with, they seem like, three and four millimeter screws, frame screws here. And this motor is pretty much very reliable. I haven't had a problem with it. Um, I haven't been flying it much lately anyways also, but I, I've crashed with these. These are what I first started with and they, they were just performing beautiful. I really loved them. I never tried the 2600 KV version. That's why I bought these, but I never got a chance to put them on any build. So they're just sitting there. I have two. I have the red and the, the gold, the red, the yellow. And um, I was hoping it would be more yellow to be honest. It's just, it's just gold like this matte. I don't know. I don't know. It's just like, it's gold. It's not even yellow. Alright guys, so I stacked them all next to each other so you guys can get like a visual comparison, I guess. And just to talk a little bit more about my experience with them and um, and how they perform and how they look. And some of them I've had no experience with yet, so I, I really can't say much about them, but I could just tell you about what I see in them. Um, let's start with the Racer Star Motor. The Racer Star Motor is a very good uh, beginner motor. Um, this is how I started and it, they were just performing and I was just very happy with them. Um, well, because I, I haven't tried anything else, but they were durable. They lasted. I didn't have to go for another motor So these were very good. They performed. I thought they were just very fast uh, when I first started um, <clears throat> I had them on a ZMR frame and uh, They were just it was just flying like crazy. Well, at least that's what I thought in the beginning and It was just beautiful. I enjoyed every single moment of it. So this is a very good motor to start with plus they're very cheap so um this, if you're starting and you don't have much cash and you just want to fly, this is a very good motor. I really do recommend you go with it. It's uh, 2205. Uh, the size is a 2205, and this is one that's 2600 kV version. But if you're starting, I think I recommend you go with the 2300 kV version. That's how I started, and I was just having a blast. And it was a very heavy frame. So let's put this guy on the other side. F60 T motor. Uh, very bad experience with all their motors so far. Well, two brands, uh, two two types. The F 40s and the F60s, um, like I showed you just earlier, um, there's a problem with their shafts, um, <clears throat> and some of them weren't even spinning. So I guess there's two versions, like I told you before. You got the, uh, uh, you have the Virgin One, which is, uh, you got thinner copper but a thicker stack, a th thicker winding of this stack here, and um, a different sticker, obviously. Um, and this is the version 2, but they didn't rebrand it. It's darker colored copper, thicker copper, but less, uh, less strands, you know, 
less st strands, uh, I lost the word, but you get what I'm saying, less strands. Anyways, <clears throat> I'm really hoping I get to try these, I really hope these are going to be good, um, I've just, I'm just, I don't know, they're, they, they look awesome on videos, but just my luck with them so far is just absolute crap. And I've had people email me telling me they also have the same problem with the, the F60s. But anyways, this is a 2207 motor and it's amp hungry and it's very fast. So this is going to be very exciting if it works. So let's put this to the side now. The Emacs 2306. So this 2306 size, this is the 2750 KV version. Um, and I regret buying them. I hope, I wish I would have bought the 2400 KV. Uh, because you really can't put these on a heavy build like the Martian. Um, it'll just ruin your batteries. So go with a 2400 KV version. Um, overall, they're very good. I, I've only done maybe four flights with them so far. They were awesome. They just ruined my battery. So, yeah. And they're freaking fast. Very fast. So, the Diatone. These are... I've tested them on the Diatone. Now, as far as I know, their bearings are not strong at all. So... Yeah, it's it's three motors, not just one or two motors. So that that's how I can basically confirm that it's uh, it was like maybe three crashes. I don't know. Yeah, I think three crashes. So yeah, but these are very fast motors. They're very good motors. Uh, they're twenty two oh five size, and they just look massive. Look, this one's a twenty two oh for the Emacs is twenty two oh five also. Look how massive that is, and I'm sure they they're they're, they're heavier than the Emacs also because uh, they just have so much more going for them. And they just look beautiful on a quad also. So let's put this guy to the side now. We have the Emax, uh, which is my favorite motor. And until this moment, it's my favorite. Uh, powerful, fast, easy to clean, very durable, and could take a beating. But like I always say, the worst problem with this is how hard you have. The, 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 the prop nuts are just unbelievably uh, ridiculous. I, I really hate them. They're just so difficult to put on and take off. It's just... Uh, it's uh, really ridiculous, like unbelievably. But other than that, they're just beautiful, amazing motors. They perform like crazy, and they have huge thrust, and the power is always there. This is the 2300 KV version. I've never tried the 2600. I might order it this month. I'm not sure, but if I do, I'll let you guys know. So let's put this on the side now. Now, the Brother Hobby. This is the Returner R4, also called the Hyperlite V4. Um, the magnets feel strong, like the... Uh, Emax, but I believe this one's a 2206 and the Emax is 2205 size. So, yeah. Um, I'm very excited to try this motor. Um, easy to clean, same as the Emax, and their magnets are as strong as the Emax. So, and, and they, they, they look nice. Um, I like them, but they're a bit, they feel a bit, they look a bit girly to me. But, I mean, that, that's okay, I guess. As long as they perform, who cares, right? <clears throat> so, um, I'm hoping they're going to be durable. And I'm hoping that they are going to perform like the Emacs or better. On mini quad test bench, I see that they're performing better. Uh, so well, obviously in size, size does matter here. Uh, well, not always, but here it does actually. It did. Uh, it's efficient and it has a bit more thrust than the Emacs. I think 50 grams more thrust. Uh, so four motors, that's around 100 grams of thrust extra. So this is a very good motor on, on paper really. So I'm very curious and very excited to try this out. It's going to be going on the Jeb RC LX5 frame. Uh, that just looks like a beautiful frame. So I'm hoping this will suit it just fine. And that's basically it, guys. That's going to conclude it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, just let me know. And uh, take care, guys. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. And that's it. See you guys. Take care. Happy flying.